Ask Reddit by OK Treacle 9312. People who eat pizza with knife and fork why? To slow me down. Yeah this is why I use a smaller spoon or fork for meals, so it will take longer to eat. Annoying fast eating habit I got from a job where I barely had any time to eat. Typically I do it because I'm working at my PC and don't want to have to wipe my hands off every time I need to type something. Wiping your hands off doesn't even really work, you still get a tiny bit of grease and oil on everything and it's a bitch to get off. You have to wash your hands with soap before you can touch stuff without gunking it up after handling pizza. One must always distinguish themselves from the peasants. I bet this guy eats a Snickers bar with a knife and fork too, Costanza style. Depends on the pizza, if it's thick and unwieldy absolutely laden with toppings, I might reach for a fork. But if it's a standard slice, I'm picking it up. Deleted. I want it right now and if I bite into it when it's too hot the cheese will slap itself onto my chin and I'll scream. Finally somebody said it. Sometimes the shit's too hot. I like my hands to avoid getting sticky and footed up if I can. Right here. Hate greasy hands. I don't like my hands getting greasy. Exactly. I don't have a single freaking tooth left in my head. Just about anything I eat requires a sharp knife. I've got plenty of teeth, but the ones in the front don't a good job of eating. So if I try to eat pizza without a fork and knife, my first bite doesn't go completely through the toppings. I pull the pizza away from my mouth, and all the toppings on the slice fall in my lap. Mainly, it forces me to slow down and appreciate the pizza instead of just shoving it in. Also it makes eating pizza more of a sensory experience. I can feel and hear how crunchy or thick the crust is by cutting into it. I can tell how much sauce is on it by how much I have to spoon it up after cutting. I can also see how stringy the cheese is by having to twirl it around by fork. Look at that tasteful thickness. My god. It even has a pepperoni mark. You ever tried to lift a slab of deep dish to your face? Yes. And no, it didn't go well. In my defense it was my first try. It's impossible to find deep dish here. I was just happy it came out of the oven well. That's the normal way of eating a traditional Italian pizza. True. Just watched a Anthony Bourdain episode and everyone at this Naples pizza place was eating with a knife and fork. Because using a spoon would be unimpractical. Edit. Jeez. Thanks for the English lesson. Anyway, unpractical is also accepted even if not commonly used. S it too. You know what? Fuck you all. Bunch of ignorance who apparently aren't even able to look up a dictionary. I'm out. What about chopsticks? Because it's a perfectly valid and convenient way to consume pizza. Sauce, I'm Italian. I lived in Naples for two years. Can confirm, in the home of the pizza, knife and fork. How do you eat it? With your hand scoffs. Was looking for this Seinfeld comment lol. Proper Italian pizza requires a knife and fork. A friend of mine from Brazil told me that's just how it works in some cultures. No idea if he was bullshitting or not. Brazilian here, can confirm. Clean. No hot. No greasy. Chicago deep dish. A knife and fork is the only way you can eat it. In Europe. That's the way to do it. I lived in Italy for a while and they serve you a pizza that is not cut into slices. So, fork and knife it is. Similar here. Lived in Italy so I picked up the habit. Usually only do it with a thin crust pizza. I like having clean hands so I can scroll her mom's insta. 
if it is Neapolitan pizza, it is okay, and some places even suggest it, since the crust won't hold up on its own. Most American style pizzas have thick crusts that don't sag, there are some dirty jokes in there somewhere, but the traditional, 90 second cook at 900 degree Neapolitan pizza typically has a thin, wet, saggy crust in the center. You can't one hand them easily like you can other pizzas, so you either use two hands, or cut it. For your information, it's not the crust that causes this dynamic. It's the cheese. Neapolitan pizza uses fresh mozzarella which is 60 plus percent water. New York style pizza uses low moisture mozza which was invented in the US. This allows them to put lots of cheese on a pizza without it turning into a soupy mess. In Naples, you just put a few globs of cheese on the pizza because if you covered an entire pizza in fresh mozzarella it would literally be swimming in water when you took out of the oven. Clean hands. If you worry about how others eat their pizza then you need more to worry about. I can only stare at hospital ceiling right now so I guess it is best I can do. Chicago style pizza requires fork and knife. So does Chicago etiquette. The mayo at people who try to say they don't like deep dish. It's like saying you like sheet cake but not layer cake. Only my back four teeth touch when my mouth is closed so I can't bite a piece off lol. Same. I end up trying to tear pieces off and pull all the toppings with it. Most of the times I do this I don't want to get my hands oily because I'd be using my phone the same time I'd be eating. I'm autistic. Because if you order pizza at a real Italian restaurant they don't slice it for you. They give you a knife and fork. You can use the knife and fork to make slices then eat the slices, but their attitude is you're an adult and they don't need to cut your food for you. I feel like it would be cultural appropriation if I used chopsticks. Is it also cultural appropriation for East Asians to use a knife and fork? I do it sometimes at the pizza is still really hot. It keeps all the toppings from sliding off. Deep dish. Maybe they don't want to get their hands dirty. They want to. Currently, because I'm getting a bunch of dental work done that makes biting off a piece of anything painful. Before recent dental work, only if all of the toppings would fall off in one big piece. Sometimes a RMF needs to be classy. That is actually how it is done in Napoli. Because it's messy, why else? Obviously not all pizzas however. My teeth are fucked up. I guess it could potentially help with digestion. With a knife and a fork you can control the sizes of your bites as it's in your control to cut the slice with a knife. Also, smaller bites can make one appreciate the taste of food. It looks neater, if you are in a setting with people you want to impress and want to come across as super tidy then a knife and fork would look okay. If you cannot be bothered to wash your hands, kinda gross. If you don't want grease on your hands. If you are sharing a slice, more hygienic to use utensils. I eat with my hands, I am just trying to kill time rn lol. Your fingers don't get greasy when you're using a knife and fork. This had to be auto NSFWD cause ain't no way. Why not? Exactly. It's easier and less messy. Fuck anyone judging me. Sometimes I have a little too many, inconvenient, ingredients on my pizza that make it hard to eat it with just my hands. Makes me eat slower, prevents me from overeating. I'm autistic and having pizza grease on my hands is too overstimulating. Because a good pizza demands the respect or that I'm with company. Because that's how you eat food.